Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Lazy Lose back with another video. So, today I'm going to be talking about my League Star for the 3.23 patch, Affliction, and Path of Exile. And it's it's pretty easy to farm for. This is going to be a Battle Mage Frostblink build, the path of building for it. Uh, in the late game, you're going to have 600,000 damage for the tree. Uh, it kind of walks you through the campaign and the early mapping. Uh, first, you go for Divine Judgment, and then you go for Firewalker up here. And then um, Avatar Fire and Arsonist, and then you can equip uh, Nyx's Lantern, which you should have a Chaos Orb by now to buy it. And that's when you switch to uh, Frostblink. If uh, Cult of Fire, Control Destruction, and Spell Blades, you can need a 3 blue, 1 red. Once you're around level 41, when you can equip the Nyx's Lantern and transition over to Frostblink. Uh, don't speak into MOM before you get your second Ascendancy, which is the one that uh, here it causes consecrated ground to also recover energy shield for you and you won't be that mana starved or energy shield starved because uh you're also going for eldritch battery um but yeah you can see the damage is about average on 605,000. the crit chance does get to 100 you just need kind of like a couple of gems maybe uh some more strength and int as you're an inquisitor and in the later stages you want to uh, uh, farm I would say six white socket bronze lift the two ways you can get it or if you go here to the harvest craft you can um, reforge a random white socket on a on an item another way to get it is through locus of corruption which I'm gonna be expecting to both crop rotation <clears throat> and also some incursion to get a lot of locus of corruptions to double corrupt the uh, many bronze lift and hopefully get six white sockets by the second week of the league so as you can see here, the POB kind of walks you through the whole campaign and the early mapping. Later mapping um, is that, the bronze lid, and a riot's end, uh, plus two cold spells amulet, and the forbidden jewels, I would say radiant faith, but it's not 100% like the best one. I'm not sure which one would be better. I would say go for radiant faith, it gives you a lot of armor and for defensive options so you can get a shaper shield and um recover percentage of life or just get a surrender and for the for the timeless jewel i mean you want to get a doriani which is going to help you sustain your righteous fire you want to put it here to get a corrupted soul because if you put it over here next to eternal youth it'll mess up the block nodes here which are really important you really want this block cluster here once you have your surrender or shaper shield and that's about it guys i hope you enjoyed the video thank you guys for watching Feel free to like and subscribe and if you're also going to be following this build and playing cross blink inquisitor let me know in the comments below peace